Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. I hope you're all doing really well. So it's Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan 2024, March 11th. Is it the 11th? I think it's the 11th. It's a Monday and what a blessed month we have entered, alhamdulillah. So the month of fasting is upon us. If you're not Muslim, that means fasting or not eating or drinking anything from dawn till dusk. So currently in the UK, that means not eating from about five o'clock in the morning till 6 p.m. until the clocks go. Is it forward or back at the end of March? I'm not too sure. Inshallah, it goes well this month. It's really sad that there's still a war ongoing in Gaza. They need a ceasefire and they need food to get in because they are starving, especially in the north of Gaza. So I will try and vlog as much as I can and I'm gonna keep the focus away from food and try to post food as less as possible because obviously there's Muslims starving, they can't even get any food, so it's quite disrespectful for me to post my amazing meals. Not that I make really amazing meals, but to post any kind of food it's going to be painful for people who can't get any food to see that. So I'm going to keep the focus away from food. Unless I've got a recipe to share, um, then I might kind of show you uh, like a step-by-step -step guide of what I'm making. But yeah, the focus is not really going to be on food. And inshallah, if there's a ceasefire and they're allowed as much food as they like, then inshallah, I'll post more of what we're eating. But anyway, today... What I need to do, I'm feeling a bit tired actually, I can't really be bothered. I um, just want to relax and sleep. But obviously I want to do as much, um, you know, read as much Quran as possible. So I've got this ladder shelf that we had upstairs and I wanted to make use of it down here. I don't really have a shelf in the living room that I can display anything nice on. Plus I've got some nice Islamic books that I want to put out and make sure myself and the kids and the kill that we kind of pick them up and read them during Ramadan instead of turning to other forms of entertainment. So yeah, I want to put some books out on the shelf. Also, a while ago, I ordered some stuff from Timu that I've not actually put out for Ramadan. Um, so I've got this calendar, these lights. So I've got the ladder shelf, it's kind of worn out. I've got some chalk paint, some furniture paint, so I'll upcycle that shelf. Once it dries, I'll put these bits on it, this Ramadan calendar, the Islamic books, maybe a candle. And I'm looking over there, you're probably like, why is she looking over there? Or maybe you don't care. But that's where I plan to put the shelf in front of me, maybe next to the TV. Yeah, that's it really. Not got much else to say. I hope you've been well. I've not really vlogged much. I've kind of not been in the mood with what's going on in Gaza. You know, you don't really want to share much, do you? Because, you know, you're going along with your day-to-day -day life and there's people suffering elsewhere. So you don't really want to share much of what you're doing daily because people are deprived from even doing that. And it can be difficult to enjoy and really appreciate what you've got going on in your own life, knowing that other people are having their lives destroyed. So yeah, I've not really been, um, you know, vlogging or um, making many videos, but I thought Ramadan, come on, let's see if I can um, vlog, because that's a thing I do for a couple of years. Other than that, there's not much going on. The kids are at school. I'll do the ladder shelf, um, upcycle, Pop this stuff on it, the decorations and stuff, inshallah, and then um, I'll be thinking about what to make for dinner. So I can tell you what we're going to have. We're having some lamb and uh, rice. I think I made lamb and rice, lamb Korean rice, and I'll take some spring rolls out, I think. And yeah, we've got a couple of days. So Kayle needs to pick up some more, just some fruit and stuff. But yeah, I think other than that, we're all right. Anyway, that's that. I'm going to let you guys go, and inshallah, I'll see you when I upcycle my ladisha. All right. I forgot to mention in terms of collecting for charity or trying to raise money, I usually do something kind of every year. I thought this year I'll just put a link to a page. It's called Care for Gaza. They within Gaza and they buy stuff for the residents there. Because it's difficult with the blockade and you don't know if the stuff that's being sent, the aid that's being sent to the Palestinians is actually getting into them. Yeah, I'll put a link to that page and they're within Gaza and they just buy like flour, uh, oil, you know, things that they actually need and uh, even clothes and blankets and things like that. So if you can donate to that page, well, it's a Twitter page that I follow or X, it's called X now, isn't it? I'm still living in the old days. It's called Care for Gaza and it's like a PayPal link uh, that they've got. And uh, yeah, it seems all authentic and fine and hopefully inshallah the aid will get through to Gaza. So this is the ladder shelf I was talking about 
as you can see it's very worn out and this is the paint that I'm going to use this chalky furniture paint in cloudy grey I got this one from B&M but I'm sure you can get it from lots of shops so anyway let's get cracking shall we Allahumma salli wa sallim Ala khayr al-mursalim Wa ala ashabihi ajma'in Wa ala ashabihi ajma'in Allahumma salli wa sallim Sallim, sallim عنا خير المرسلين وعلى أصحابه أجمعين وعلى أصحابه أجمعين اللهم صل على سيدنا مصطفى مصطفى اللهم صل على سيدنا مصطفى مصطفى السحاب يطير حرا مدركا نسمك ما له So we just went to B&M and Asda. Look at this lovely tablecloth. I love it, mashallah. It's such a nice design. Well done, b and I'm glad to see a lovely design there. So uh, seven pounds for that. I'm looking forward to putting that onto the table. Also went to Asda and picked up these soft nans from Warburton's. Four in a pack and they were only a pound on offer and I thought go on we can have them on the side tonight so we're having a, I've got some chicken thigh I'll cut it into pieces and make a curry I think and maybe some rice and um, have some of this soft naan on the side delightful delicious mashallah <laughs> So we've just done our weekly grocery shop at Farm Foods and Asda and uh, these are the only exciting things that I've got although they are very exciting look at this Fox's Crunch Creams Apple Crumble flavour oh my god they look so nice I'd love to try them right now but obviously I'm fasting and then these look nice as well very vanilla I think they were 69 pence each on offer in Farm Foods and then I got these two pineapples because they were on offer in Farm Foods as well 59 pence each not bad and the kids really love these oreo yogurt so there's four in there and it's two for two pounds so i got two packs of those and that's from farm foods as well <laughs>